Hey all welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren, of course, and today I'm going to do something a little different. Not really diff that different, but hey, it's something new to me. I'm going to get be saying goodbye to my old reliable Camp Chef griddle here, um, and I'm going to replace it with a brand new Cuisinart round griddle right here. We're going to get this all unboxed, put together. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this Cuisinart. 360 XL Griddle. I'll be back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys. Like I said, this is going to be a, a, a change for me. I've had my camp chef now for going on three years. Really like it. But I decided I wanted to have a little bit more space out here on the patio. And the griddle does take up enough room that, you know, I could probably do away with that and check out this round griddle that Cuisinart makes. It's uh, 36 inches around, or 30 inches around, I believe. But it's uh, very similar to a Evo griddle that you've probably seen if you watch uh, Sam the Cooking Guy. Uh, he uses on his deck. Um, those run around five to six grand. This one actually is only a couple hundred bucks. And I actually picked this up on Amazon during Prime Week, or Prime Days. So um, really was able to get a good deal on this. And I decided, hey, it's going to give me a little bit more room on the patio. And I'll still be able to griddle. And it looks similar to that Evo that Sam the Cooking Guy uses. So hey, maybe there's something to it. I'm going to go ahead and get this unboxed and put it together. I'm not going to bore you with that. But then I'm going to you know, put it right next to the Camp Chef and show you the difference. And we'll do a little walk around them. And I'll uh, see which one you guys think is better. I'll be back. All right, guys. Here it is. The Cuisinart XL 300 or, yeah, 360 XL griddle. <laughs> All right. So I just got it put together. It took me a little hour and ten minutes maybe uh, all the parts were there everything was pretty well laid out um, just some screws putting together uh, you know it is broken down into that box so you pretty much have to uh, you know put everything together it's not uh, prefabbed for sure so but everything fits together really well instructions were really easy to do um, you know so there was really nothing hard about it at all there wasn't any only thing I can really say is that the uh, bubble thing that the screws come in it popped open and the screws were kind of scattered throughout the box but none of them were missing so I can't say anything um, that it was missing any parts but everything was great there was no damage to the unit at all everything looks really good the uh, knobs here they look shiny metal but they're plastic but one of the things I want to do is kind of compare the camp chef here now I've had this camp chef now for a good three three and a half years so it's seen a lot of use, and um, I have some extras on this that actually don't come with it. But these camp chefs sell for about you know 600 bucks. Sometimes you can find them on sale for you know 350 to 400 if you're lucky. Every once in a while you'll see them at a wholesale club for like 250, but usually they sell for about 500 to 600 bucks online. And that's without some of these options that I put. I put this, I bought the uh, top here, so um, doesn't come with this top. I bought this rack from the same company where I bought the top from. So those are the two things that I've added to this. So everything else is pretty much stock. So as you can tell, you know, it's a 36 inch griddle. It's got plenty of room for everything. Um, the grease cup here is on the front. You got two extra shelves there on your stand. Your propane bottle is on the outside under one of these shelves. You got two, uh, you know, shelves you can work with. The only thing I found with these shelves is that when you're cooking, a lot of the heat comes out the side here, and you can't really put anything that you don't want to melt on these shelves when you're cooking. So this is a four burner course, and the camp chef. One of the things I liked about the Cam Chef, if you wanted to, you could take the griddle off and use it as a gas grill. 
Now in the three and a half years I've had this, I've never done it because I've got other grills to do that with, but it works really good as a griddle. I can't complain about it. I've never had any issues with rust on the top. I've always kept it well seasoned. Um, the only thing I can really say is sometimes the drip tray here can get a little crazy. Sometimes it kind of drips um, to the side. So, you know, but you always got to clean it up. Some of the stuff, like the, the paint on the stainless, is kind of faded off. And after, you know, you're washing it a bunch of times, it, it does that. So, it's been a really good griddle. I can't really complain. But like I said, these are in the almost $600 range right now. This here, I got it on Amazon on the uh, Prime Days. It was at 300, right at $300. Uh, I think they sell normally for $350. But it's got 30, it's 30 inches of cooking space. It comes with this lid, which like I said, this didn't come with the lid. This comes with this lid and it actually has a little vent on top so you can actually do some steaming and smoking on this thing if you wanted to. It's really easy, it comes right off and then it stores, it's got a little hook so you can actually hang the lid on the back there while you're cooking. It hangs on the grease channel so it can kind of uh, help your, as a windbreaker as well. And you got a round surface here, of, like I said, 30 inches around that gives you plenty of cooking space. It does have three burners. So you got one that's like in the middle, one on this side and one on that side. So you can have three different heat zones. One of the things I like about it, instead of having all these other shelves that really you don't need, it's got a, a place for your propane with a door on it. So you can stash your propane bottle underneath without it hanging off the side like it does on the Camp Chef. So it can actually store right underneath I've got two side shelves, and like I said, they, these aren't very big, so there's not a whole lot of room, but it looks like to me you're not going to have a whole lot of issues with the heat hitting that like you do over here on the Camp Chef, so I'm hoping that that's the case. Now this grease trough actually runs all the way around it, and it all comes into this side right here where you got your grease cup. It's in the front, so you don't have to worry about reaching around the back. Now it is kind of a small grease cup. hopefully. I won't have any issues um, when I'm cooking smash burgers and bacon and all that of actually uh, having it uh, to where I can't, uh, where it fills up. So, so it's uh, pretty convenient to have it in the front. Like I said, I'm not going to cook on this today, but I'm going to actually, I just wanted to show you why. And like I said, since it's round, it actually is going to give me a little bit more room over here than the Camp Chef does and uh, I'm going to have a little bit more room to move around out here and have different uh, components. Like I'm going to move that oven I think and kind of put that over this way. But I got to get this cleaned up to sell but I just wanted to show you guys side by side what they look like. Like I, like I said this is kind of dirty. I got to clean it up. I actually just used it the other day. But this top, like I said you can buy those separately. They're a couple hundred bucks. You can buy the shelf separately. I think that was like a hundred bucks. And uh, everything else though is standard and stock. It's got a lot of use. I really can't complain about the Camp Chef. It's just time for me to move on. This design is very similar to the Evos that you see on Sam the Cooking Guy and some other places uh, where they're, they're over $5,000 for their setup. Now I'm not gonna say that this is the same quality as that, but it's a similar design that um, I think is going to work out better for me. So, all right, guys, that's it. I mean, it was really easy to put together. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. I got to get this thing seasoned up. The good thing with this, it tells you everything, how to get it seasoned. It's got every, all the directions on putting it together were well, uh, well done. Everything was in the bag. There was no parts missing, anything like that. I mean, it really is a solid little unit. I didn't have to force things into place or anything like that. So I'm getting ready to uh, season it up. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to kind of show you. I'm not going to do any kind of com other comparisons with the Camp Chef because this thing I got to clean it up and get ready to sell and uh, get it off my deck real quick. <laughs> but I didn't have any problems with this. I loved it. I'm ready to move on. We're going to see. You'll be seeing me cook on this in some other videos down the road. 
But thanks for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and I'll see you again on the next Fire and Water cooking video.